Greetings everybody, Dwoos the Collector here with episode 102 of the Collector's Geeks and Freak Show. Yep, I just released uh, 101 today. Um, some tech technical difficulties. Jeez, I can one day I'll learn how to pronounce words like a human being. Today's not that day. Um, yeah, so I had some problems with the PC, fixed it all today, was able to release that one, so I said, well, I don't know if I'll release this one tonight, it's awful late again, it's already after 6, just fed the Woos Hounds and the, um, the Hell Hound, the Puppy Hell Hound, yeah, I have a Puppy Hell Hound, uh, Satan sent it himself, he got mad when I got, um, quit it on him, and he said, oh, here's a parting gift. No, that's not a puppy. It's an evil, evil, fluffy little thing that will eat anything and survive. Jump from high heights and survive. Um, has sharp, razor sharp teeth that bl draw blood very often. Um, yeah, has eaten many things. It should have been dead. It should have been dead the first week we got it. Here it is already a couple months, and this thing is still alive. It's evil. I know it's evil. It's here. I told myself no more Woo's Hounds, but here it is. I got Lady Woo's Hound, her little puppy for the anniversary, and this is, uh, yeah. Yep, puppy hell. That's where I'm at. But anyway, let's get on to this episode. Um, yep, I saw Deadpool and Wolverine release that today. Of course, it's been out for two weeks now, um, but it's doing great in the box office, so you can hear what I thought originally, and I would say, go fucking see it if you haven't seen it. One of the best, it already beat The Passion of the Christ uh, as the most, make the most R-rated movie, um, and it just hit one billion, I think, this, this weekend. So, yeah, <laughs> Marvel... I can already see Disney stamping the R on stuff, and, in that, yeah, and whoever knows, you know, if they can make enough money with Disney porn, I think they would do it, adult versions, but hey, I'm not a big time exec, so, but yeah, um, last week, um, Trap opened, but we didn't go see it, because Lady Woo's friend at work and co-worker, uh, Laura, Got, gave her um, free tickets to the Lamagon and Mastodon um, Ashes of Levi Levi Leviathan tour, where they played their best-selling albums in the entirety. Um, Kerry King has started a band from Slayer. They open phenomenal. Um, there was a, I think they're British, Malef Maleficent. It was that Disney evil lady that... Um, Laura Croft, oh my god, I can't remember the actress's name right now, Brad Pitt's ex-wife, um, totally slipping my, Angelo, Angelina Jolie, it comes back, it's always at the tip of the tongue, yeah, she was, um, oh, in Maleficent, uh, the Disney film, and then this band is named Wolf. That's how I remembered it. We watched them, and we went to see this band, the, this show at the Mohegan Sun um, up in Foxwoods. And first beer of the night, my dumbass legs gave out on me. And I went down, and I missed that because I couldn't see the stairs because the band started. And when we just got in, this Maleficent band, and they had strobing lights. Yeah, I misjudged the stairs because they had different colors on the stairs. One stair had black. I missed the motherfucker, and I went down big time. I hurt all last weekend, and I had only like a quarter cup of beer left. I was pissed. <laughs> That's how my evening started, but I did get a bunch of concert shirts that you guys will see um, later on. It was a great show. I was a l I, w I didn't want to pay for it because of the whole full album thing. But since now, since the days of digital music, I don't buy anything on CDs anymore. My CDs might be even worth money at this point. Um, so I don't really listen on everything. I, and it's entirely the records. I put everything on shuffle every time I listen to music. And there's always usually, usually miss it, 
music playing in the the Woostead or when I go off to work, um, I just kind of keep it low because my kind of music is usually frowned upon. And usually when everybody's out of the office, then I, I, I amp it up a little, but I have to pause it when I answer the phone. Um, yeah, so uh, great show. I had a great time. We thanked uh, Lady Woos's friend, Laura. Um, we had a really good time. So um, great show. Um, and then this weekend, because uh, Borderlands opened, but I already saw that the reviews for it were kind of crappy even before. So we were going to do a double feature. We were going to see Borderlands and then Trap. We decided to go no Borderlands. It was going to be nice this weekend. Lady Woos wanted to do some work. Um, we went to see Trapped with um, Josh Hart, Hartnett, um, directed by M. Night Shyamalan. I freaking loved it. I have a thing for serial killers, go figure, heavy metal, serial killers, horror movies, science fiction, you know, who knows, the wooze knows, um, but yeah, it was a great movie, um, I don't want to give any spoilers away, because this is only the second week it's been out, but, um, I believe there may be a second movie, and if there is, I'm definitely going to see it. Saw some great trailers in there. Next week, we go see Alien um, Romulus, which I'm really looking forward to taking the alien back to its horror roots. Original director, Ridley Scott. So we got that. Um, and then I bought Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice tickets. Um, that's September, early September. Um, and we already saw some of the popcorn containers. They had them there. They look cool. Um, yeah. What else? Um, small screen. Um, I, I'm on my Netflix kick with the Marvel shows. I'm up to Iron Fist season one. Um, finished Luke Cage season one. I think the Defender season one is next. I plan to watch all those. I saw on the Disney, what is it? Their big convention or whatever it is now, Disney 23 or something where they, um, they were showing little clips and the actors came out for Daredevil Reborn on um, Disney+. Plus. Um, so I'm really excited about that. So I'm caught up on that. Me and Lady Woo's, um, we, we've watched all the boys up to date. We watched all House of Dragons up to date. And then we started watching Star Wars. Uh, I'm going to say. The Acolyte. Nope, I didn't say it wrong. Um, that was a great series back when the Old Republic. So um, one of the actors from the Squid Games, which I haven't watched Squid Games, he's in it. Um, it, it was a great series. I'm looking forward to series two. And if you're a Star Wars fan like I am, I think you'll like it. Um, yeah, Terrific Hans next week. We're not going to that one. I, I'm going to go to um, there's CT Horicon. It's in Hartford. Three of the Lost Boy actors are going to be there. Jason Patrick, who played Michael. Um, the guy from Bill and Ted. Alex Winters, um, who played Marcus in Lost Boys. And then Dwayne, I can't remember the actor's name, he'll be there. So I'm going to get all three of those actors because that is still my top um, vampire movie of all times. It always will be. I love that movie. Um, came out back when I was younger. I, it was a great movie for the time it came out on. Great soundtrack. Younger generations, you know, they might not like it. They've redone it and amped it up a couple times and it's not the same the original is the best just like the crows coming out i'll go see the the one with um bill skarsgar but i don't have high hopes brandon lee will always be my crow always that was a great movie i haven't read the crow j bar the original crow i've read some of the newer stuff and that's it um I think that's it. I got on all that. There's a Midtown pre-order coming in soon. 
I started to clean up here and I got cataloged up and then I got more stuff. So we're going to share the more stuff I get and I did a little different. Everything's unpacked because I figured I waste too much time unpacking and availing that way of what I picked up. So I'm going to, I've got everything unpacked and I figured if I got a smash box or a mango box, of course I would leave it in there and then motherfuck the um, ship, the whoever I bought it from and the shippers. Um, but that didn't happen this week. So I'm going to go with the biggest one first. I picked this up at Amazon. Um, it's been on my wish list for quite some time and it was half off. It's a hundred dollars, but it was half off. Now, if you're ever in the Northeast and in this town, I think we're a town or city, town or city of East Haven, Connecticut, and you're just driving around around Christmas time, you will know who's the collector's house because you will see the beacon in the air. And when you follow the beacon, you'll find uh, a small house, not a big house, and a small front yard, big backyard, but it's all up in the front many 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 star wars inflatables and marvel inflatables and star wars themes and marvel themes and this is another big one that lady Fu said just do it if you want i this this may complete my imperial fleet <laughs> vader and his tie father tie father tie fighter yeah, this was originally $200. I got it for $99 finally on Amazon. And now that I'm motivated, I will get my ass out in the yard and put everything out this year. We didn't last year. Um, so much going on, but I'm going to allocate the time to get that done. Because it is one thing we love about that time of the year. We're not religious, but... We like to, the traditions, and if you'll excuse me, I'm talking too fast, and my throat's drying out. All right, so I've got a couple other orders. I, uh, I went to my local Target this weekend before the movie, so I've got a couple Target-exclusive Star Wars pops. I've got San Diego, well, these are summertime um, exclusives off of Funko, from when um, San Diego San Diego Comic Con came out um, a couple weeks ago, or started a couple weeks ago, it's long over, on my bucket list. Yes, Woo's the Collector is starting a bucket list. There's going to be many things on this bucket list. I may not accomplish them all, but I'm going to sure try as hell to do so. Um, so I've got a bunch of pops from there. And then um, Best Buy had um, run a sale. NECA figures, 20 bucks. These are mostly um, the Marvel Universe. Marvel. Marvel. What the hell is wrong with me? Universal Monsters. One of my favorite. These are all the old time movies that I remember watching with my either my parents or my grandparents or at the time at Halloween they would play on the when we had the um, antenna ear TVs so I, I guess I'll show these first I'm showing them in the order that um, I like them we'll say it that way um, the first one like I said these are all 20 and they're usually $34.99 now I got the um, Phantom of the Opera I don't ever remember watching this movie all the way to the end, and they do have a 4K set of all the old Universal monster movies that I do want to get eventually and watch them all. But yeah, this is um, Carl Lamy presents the um, Lon Chaney is the Phantom of the Opera. His make it back then, you know, between him and Bella Lugosi was incredible for that time period. But yeah, um, the NECA figures, like I said, they never cease to amaze me. They're just way too expensive now. I was used to paying $18.99, $19.99 for them. So for when these will go on sale for $19.99, I jump on them. So I got the Phantom of the Opera. Um, I got three Universal mo Monster ones, and I got another um, newer horror movie. Um, now I know everybody's going to say, oh, you're vampire, vampire. No. 
I, I I'll save um, my favorite for last. Uh, this is Bella Lugosi as Dracula. Really cool, really detailed, all kinds of accessories, different heads and everything. Twenty dollars, usually thirty four ninety nine. Like I said, NECA figures are one of my favorite um, companies to buy figures from, but this one is my favorite. The only thing is, uh, it looks like somebody's little um, Velcro dot got stuck to the side of them, so I'll have to get that off. But yeah, Creature of the Black Lagoon. Now, why is this one one of my favorites? I remember being a kid, and I remember it. I don't know if it was color or black and white. They put it on the TV as 3D. I don't remember where we got the 3D glasses. I don't know where my parents got them or whatever. I think you had to pick them up at a store or something like that. But I remember they were sitting watching this movie, and it's entirely in 3D on the TV. Which was cool back then when I was a little kid, you know. Um, but yeah. And plus he's aquatic. I don't know what it is about sea monsters and um, monsters from lakes and killer gators. But yeah. So that's the creature of the Black Lagoon. Um, yeah, there's a little dot. But that shouldn't be too hard to remove. Now this next one is still, this was from the 80s, early 80s, no, late 80s, early 90s, um, the Pupper, Puppet Master series. This is Six Shooter and Jester. This is Ultimate Six Shooter and Jester. Um, they're, they have drill head, pin head, and we've got... Um, Fire Guy, I can't remember all their names. They've got Leech Lady. Um, I picked up these two for 20 bucks. Another ones that these are usually $34.99. So detailed. One of my favorite movies. Um, the move, it goes back. There's about, I don't know, 10, 12 of them now. But it goes back all the way. The story starts back in Nazi Germany. Um so yeah, so that's one of my favorite like film franchises to watch as well growing up and still to this day. All right, I'm going to save the San Diego Comic-Con ones for last, but we're going to start on the pops I picked up. These are two uh, Star Wars exclusives from Target. I got um, IG-11, the Marshall. Um, I was going to pre-order them, but I figured to wait. It's just sad now. These used to be uh, $8.99. They went up to $12.99. Now the exclusives are $14.99. And they sell the non-exclusives for $12.99. A little pricey, but I used my um, Target Red card, so I got at least 5% off. And then I got the Armorer, also from The Mandalorian, um, with her jetpack. So she was pretty cool. Another one I wanted, so I picked her up. While we were over there before seeing the movie. So I'm going to move the biggest one out of the way. I'm going to save him and the other one for last. Um, so I, I didn't buy much. I've got um, six three-inch figures. And the other one is a six-inch figure. Um, picked these up from the from the San Diego Comic-Con. Right from the um, Funko.com website. When they released them. Um, these have the... Um, summer convention stickers but of course I had to get one of my favorite X-Men villain Mr. Sinister I picked him up all the six inches were 15 bucks the no these are the 3.75 inches were uh, $15 the six inch figure was 30 but I'm glad I picked them up I was on the fence but I'm glad and we'll get to that my next was, of course, I had to get Admiral, Grand Admiral Thrawn with his fingers as he strategizes. So I picked this one up. There was a con exclusive that is Diamond. You can only get it at the con. Well, obviously, I ain't ever getting that one because I wasn't at the con. And I am not paying second market prices. No way. I, an, another Star Wars one, which I thought was really cool, is this Darth Vader in red. That 
looks so awesome. I just had to have it, so I picked it up. Another Marvel, or did we have show? Yeah, we had X Men. Uh, Spider Boy. Who's Spider Boy? No one really knows because everybody forgot about him because he disappeared from the web of destiny. So, uh, Marvel 616 does not know who Bailey Barnes is because he was erased and his mother was something else, a memory or something. So, I can't really meet, remember the specifics of the comic, but I've been enjoying it. He's a cool little character. He was in the Marvel Universe. He was Spider-Man's sidekick. Spider-Man doesn't remember him. And here we go. Now, this old-time movie one reminds me, of, because it's one of my mother's favorites, but there was a character in it that I really liked because I always root for the villains. But this, this, this villain character comes with one of the best sidekicks ever. Fucking flying monkeys. <laughs> Favorite thing about Wizard of Oz was the winged monkeys. Um, we took uh, Mom Woos, me and sibling um, sister Woos, to see what was it, Wicked. So of course, when we went, they had a little stuffed flying monkey, and I had to get it. The flying monkeys were the goddamn best thing in this whole movie, and the Wicked Witch, when she was a Karen flying through the air. Oh, they've done so many remakes of this, but the original, it's just one I'll, I'll never forget. All right, these other two, the 3.75, I really want it, and I'm glad I got on the web page within the first minute. Threw everything in the cart because I had it all listed down what I wanted. I got everything I wanted. I knew this one was going to be a big seller. It's sold out now. These actually, these last two are sold out. Um, I don't know what the market value is yet, but I got to assume it's going to be a little high because they sold out so quick on the Funko.com. But um, they're doing a new Godzilla, like 50th um, anniversary or something. I think this might be part of it. But yeah, this is one of those. Sold out almost instantly on Funko.com. I don't know how fast he sold out at the show. So I'm glad I picked him up. Now the $30 one, I was on the fence on because that's like a little high for my blood. But it was a cool cartoon back then. It's still a cart cool cartoon well, back in the 80s. And it's still a cool cartoon now. Um, like I said, he was $30. But I said, screw it. Do it, and I'm glad I did, because he sold out. Freaking Voltron! Sold out another one, sold out interest, um, instantly. I'm curious to see um, how much he's worth on the secondary market. I'm probably going to catalog these next, um, and then hopefully get to some catalog and some comics, and maybe the pile's freaking behind me at one point in my life before I pass to the nether world. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching. I knew I dragged it out a little too much. I'm talking a little too much today. Um, I probably won't get this out tonight, but it'll be out next week. So see you guys then. Um, let you guys know how Aliens Rom Romulus is. Um, remember to like me on Facebook. Um, like me on YouTube. Follow my subscript. Uh, follow my page. Uh, subscribe to the channel, check out my hobby DB um, showcase. Um, I just got another badge um, because I upgraded to the premium version with, for no ads and no fees ever. It was $24 a year because I am already a stockholder. So um, I said, screw it. Yeah. Had to sell on this. I can sell my collectibles if I want it. I can sell, you know, no fees. None of that eBay crap to other collectors like myself who I'd rather buy from other collectors than some scalper or somebody who just buys. You know, because when you're a collector and you're buying like myself, I always try to pick the best ones. If you're a true collector. 
if you're just a dickhead trying to make a lot of money on something and take advantage of people, well, you don't really care and you just grab anything. Well, screw those motherfuckers. All right, guys, this is enough of woo slandering people and saying bad words, but, you know, Deadpool got me going. I'm still loving that movie. Go see Deadpool and Wolverine if you haven't. Damn it, it's been out for three weeks. It's making millions of dollars. It's freaking excellent. All right, this is Woo's the Collector, coming from Woo's the Homestead, signing off.